The roots of Clan McLaughlin trace back to Norse origins. The name itself suggests Norse influence, with Lachlan being derived from the Old Norse name Lachlan. The clan is believed to be descended from King Neil of the Nine Hostages, a legendary pagan ruler. The senior branch of the clan resided in Turconnell of the O'Neill dynasty in Ireland until the 13th century. By the 13th century, the McLaughlins had established themselves in Scotland. Lachlan Moore, a notable figure and warrior, settled on the shores of Loch Fyne. He was not only a descendant of Irish kings but also played a crucial role in shaping the destiny of the clan as they ventured further into Scottish lands. The McLaughlins recognized the rising power of the Campbells in Argyll, and wisely aligned themselves with the Earls. They proved their loyalty by supporting Robert the Bruce, attending his first parliament at St Andrews in 1308. Over the centuries, the McLaughlins held influential positions, granted charters, and confirmed grants to religious institutions. The McLaughlins were no strangers to conflict, facing numerous trials throughout their history. They fought alongside Viscount Dundee at the Battle of Killiecrankie in 1689, displayed their allegiance to the Jacobite cause in 1715, and rallied to Prince Charles Edward Stuart during the Jacobite Rising of 1745. The chief of the clan met his tragic end at the Battle of Culloden in 1746, marking a turning point for the clan's fortunes. In the aftermath of Culloden, the McLaughlins endured the devastation of Castle Lachlan, their ancestral seat, reduced to ruins. Forced to flee, the chief's family found solace in the fact that their estates had been conveyed to his son before the uprising, preserving their legacy. In the face of adversity, the McLaughlins rose from the ashes, constructing a new mansion house near the remnants of their ancient castle. Even in modern times, the McLaughlin clan has not faltered. During the Second World War, Marjorie McLaughlin of McLaughlin assumed the chiefship, carrying on the legacy of her ancestors. The McLaughlins continue to cherish their heritage, contributing to the cultural fabric of Scotland while embracing their historical roots.